Hey Warriors fans, I'm Thomas Mott. Welcome into Chat Sports and today, a pretty fun video for you guys is I'm going to give you the top five potential starting lines for our Golden State Warriors in this upcoming 2019-2020 NBA season. Because remember, all right, the Warriors said that the revamped Warriors squad, especially without Klay Thompson this year, they've added a lot of people. They've lost a lot of people, and now we must sit here and decide what could be the potential stop, top five starting lineups for this Warrior squad. Now, let's jump right into the most likely starting five. We'll give it to you right here, as you see on your screen. Steph Curry, point guard. D'Angelo Russell, shooting guard. I'm going to go Alfonso McKinney at the three. We'll talk about the three position, the, shooting, the small forward a lot more. Draymond Green, power forward. Kevon Looney at the center. Again, the three is the interesting one here because no Clay Thompson and no Kevin Durant. So they did some moves, Alex Burks, uh, Al Al Alonzo McKinney, and then they actually went out and got Glenn Robinson as well. All people who can play the small four position. McKinney's been there with them. I think he's going to be the choice if I had to guess right now, but that could change. So we look at all the lineups, the small four is going to be one that changes a lot. Now D'Angelo Russell is obviously the big piece here, you know, the newest addition, the new car entered into the uh, new car lot. The compensation essentially is what he was for the Kevin Durant trade, you know, essentially. All-star last year, and the question is now, how is he going to match with Steph Curry? What's the one-two dynamic going to be like? Have we seen a combo like D'Angelo Russell and like Steph Curry on the court at the same time? I don't think we have, right? I mean, you look at some of the great combos in the past, Durant Westbrook, at least his recent years, right? Harden CP3. Like, they're all different because Steph is such a weird, in a good way, enigma of a shooter slash ball handler. So how does D'Angelo Russell mesh with him is going to be very, very interesting. Russell last year was fantastic, as we know. 21 points per game, 7 assists, shot 37% from 3, 43% from the field. He's going to be good. But is he going to be more of the primary ball handler, doing high pick and rolls with Looney and Willie Cauley-Stein, dishing to Steph Curry for catch and shoots? Will he play more off ball? We don't really know yet, and that's why this is the best starting lineup, I think. But at the same time, it's going to be curious to see the addition and the fit for D'Angelo Russell. Question for you guys, real simple. Do you think Russell and Curry will coexist this season? Can they work out to a point where they're both shooting very well, You know, both averaging 20 in Russell's case, 21 points per game. In Steph's case, 24, 27, whatever it is, and win games together. All right, because that's the big thing. Harden, CP3, yeah, they worked well together. Yeah, they won games together. They didn't win later on. But the question now is, can they play together? Can they be successful? And they have good stats and win a lot of games. Let me know in the comments down below. A lot of you guys said in previous videos you think it's going to work. If you think it's going to work, I want to know why. Comment down below. All right. So that's the most likely lineup. Let's go to lineup number two here, kind of a small ball lineup, which the Warriors did a lot. You know, the Hampton Five, they did, you know, run where Draymond Green is the center, uh, is the centerpiece of this playing at the center position. It could look something like this. Steph Curry, point guard, D'Angelo Russell at the two, maybe throwing Alec Burks there at the three, McKinney at the power four, because he's a little bit taller at the four, and then Draymond Green as the center. Again, Alec Burks is 6'6", six, six, and Alfonso McKinney is six foot eight, so that's why you kind of switch them power forward versus playing the small forward position. So a little bit of back and forth there. This could be an interesting lineup depending on how well they shoot, right? Because we expect Curry to do well, we expect Russell to do well, and even Draymond Green, but it all centered around Alec Burks and Alfonso McKinney. Now Burks is a versatile wing scorer, right? And then if you didn't get to watch him play last year, versatile wing scorer, he's an athletic defender, and should be a good fit to be a role player to come in and fill the Klay Thompson shoes when he is out, or whatever, as long as he will be out. Burke was traded three times last year, finished with Sacramento, and his stats kind of show that he was a little bit, you know, moved around a lot. 8.8 .8 points per game, 2.6 assists, about, about 36% from three, and 40% from the field. He could be an interesting, you know, candidate for McKinney's spot in the other lineup, but right here, you need the smaller guys to do a smaller lineup. That's why we're not having Kevon Looney on the floor. So it makes sense for McKinney and Burks to be out there at the three and the four. All right, moving along. Lineup number three here. Just talked about, you know, having a small ball. Let's do a twin tower lineup as well because the addition of Willie Cauley-Stein is very, very interesting. So it looked like this. Curry Russell. Draymond Green playing the small four position. I know, but just bear, bear, bear with me here. Willie Cauley-Stein, athletic, you know, very athletic, I should say, power forward, and then Kevon Looney playing the center position. Focus in on Cauley-Stein, though. A very good pickup. I said on previous videos I was excited about it. How's he going to work, though? Remember, the problem with Willie Cauley-Stein is not the, it's not the height, 
not the athleticism, not even really the scoring ability. It's that the fact that he's never really seemed motivated to get better. Right? He's kind of stayed basically the same as he's gone throughout his career in Sacramento. He's also an awful rim protector slash defender for his side. A rim protector at his size, he should be absolutely fantastic. He's not been. Could playing with Golden State inspire him to be great? find that extra gear and really take his career off. It could be career changing, right? So he's a great lob player on pick and rolls. You'll see him and D'Angelo Russell probably do that a lot. Fast hands, he's good at getting turnovers, averaging like 1.5 turnovers per game in terms of him getting the steals, actually steals per game. But can he be great going forward in the Warriors system? The stats last year, even when you saw the effort be kind of an issue, almost 12 points per game, eight and a half rebounds per game, shot 50% from three, not a big three point guy, but did shoot 50% and 55% from the field. Question for you guys though, can he change his career at Golden State? Can he take his career from being a very average to below average big man to becoming a real starter in this league? He could take Kevon Looney's starting time. Now it's just a matter of him going out and doing it. Is he motivated to do it? Can Seth, can Steph Curry be the guy? Can the Warriors, you know, championships in the Raptors? Can the new arena in San Francisco all inspire him to get going and try harder? Maybe, I hope so, we will have to see. Question again, will Willie Cauley Stein change his career for the better in Golden State? Let me know in the comments down below. All right, lineup number four. And I really kind of scraped the bottom of the barrel here because again, it's a weird Warrior squad so far this season. Let's go with Curry at the one. Russell at the two, we'll throw in actually Glenn Robinson, the other new addition here at the three, Draymond, and then Willie Cauley Stein at the center position. Center now in on Glenn Robinson. Played for uh, Detroit last year, and it's his fifth team in six NBA seasons. Now last year, he shot like 30% from three. Not good. But if you go back to 2017 when he was at Indiana, he shot 41% from three just two seasons ago. He won the dunk contest with the Pacers in 2017. So the questions are now, can you become a better three ball shooter as you were two years ago? And can you not just be a lob dunk guy playing at the three position? Because your three, I mean, the small forward's gotta be able to shoot as well. The stats last year, you see them up on your screen, we'll just roll them out for you guys. 4.2 points per game, 1.5 rebounds. 30%-ish from three-point range and 42% from the field. But again, it's going back to 2017 Glenn Robinson, not 2018 with the um, with, with the, uh, Detroit last year. Which one are we going to get? Again, the hope, same with Willie Cauley-Stein, same with Alec Burks, is that you're playing for a championship squad. You're playing with Steph Curry, you know, to be an MVP this year. You're playing with D'Angelo Russell. You're playing with Steve Kerr. How are they going to elevate you to be better? And Burks could be another guy in the mix there to be the starter at the small forward position. All right. I had to do it, right? The final lineup here is, is, is an ode to how it should be. Klay Thompson, this is how to look with Klay Thompson back in the lineup. This is, this is, this is, this is, this is good, right? It's Curry, Russell Thompson, Draymond Green, the power forward, and then Kevon Looney, or technically Willie Cauley sign at the center position. This is the dream. You know, this is, this is get later on in the season, Klay Thompson's healthy, and this is what we could potentially have out on the floor. Again, the previous lineups will be fine. You'll win games, you'll make the playoffs, but this team could do some damage in the playoffs if they were fully healthy. Right? I mean, now again, can you beat LeBron's Lakers? Can you beat Kawhi's Clippers? These are questions we'll have to wait and see, but this lineup right here could do a lot of damage if they just get into the playoffs. These are the guys that could take you home out of a deep, deep run as the playoffs do continue. Because again, Clay Thompson's injury, right? We've got we to preface this. Clay Thompson's injury is not a 12-month thing. It's not an Achilles. The ACL is 8 to 10 months. So it happened at you know, the very end of the NBA Finals. 8 to 10 months later, he could come back at the end of the regular season or at the start of playoffs if he's 100% healthy and get back into the lineup playing the 3 now as D'Angelo Russell will have to probably take over the 2. Question here, will the Warriors be a top 5 team in the Western Conference this year? Will they? I mean, this is uh, the Western Conference pretty stacked. Lakers, Clippers, the Rockets now are, are, are revamped. Uh, the Nuggets, the Jazz, the Western Conference is dangerous. Are we still a top 5 team in the NBA? I'd say yes, but... I want to hear what you guys have to say, so go ahead and comment down below. There we go. Top five lineups for the Golden State Warriors this year as the roster is currently constructed. If things change, you know, people do this or they do that. It can always change, but there, there, there you go. You have the starting lineup that I originally said. You have the small ball lineup. You have the twin tower lineup. You have the... Um, the interesting one with Glenn Robinson and Willie Cauley Stein, lineup number four, and then of course Clay is back in lineup number five. Let me know how I did. Right? If there are some changes here, or you have a better lineup, then go down below and tell me which lineup you think would be the best lineup for the Warriors going forward. Be sure to subscribe to Chat Sports as always. There's plenty more Golden State Warrior content always coming. I know we're getting into the heat of NFL season. 
which if you're like a 49ers fan, I do a lot of the 49ers stuff here as well, right? Golden State, you know, stay together. Always subscribe, that way we can be up to date when those things come out. But football's coming, but we always show our love to you basketball fans here on Chat Sports as well. All the time before we have for today, again, follow me on Twitter at RealThomasMott and be sure to subscribe to Chat Sports at Chat Sports on YouTube. As you're here right now, just click the little button and you're good to go. I'm very curious to read your comments as well, so go ahead and get those in and answer the questions that I did ask you here in the video. That's again all time we have for today for Chat Sports. I am Thomas Mott signing off. Enjoy the rest of your day.